is just a little update of the painting that I'm doing at the moment. This is Bugnag, one of the Neanderthal bosses that I've uh, previously shown on here. And uh, I've started painting them. I've been using some of these uh, contrast paints, I'm trying to, as well as a whole heap of other paints. You can see some in the background there, including, for example, foundry, uh, Wargames foundry, flesh paints for his uh, skin. I think it came out okay. You can see the paint is still wet. Uh, one of the reasons for that is uh, have, for example, on the back here, been using uh, quite a lot of this flow improver when uh, putting on the base coats, so that I um, can do wet on wet painting, blending. Uh, to make it look a bit more um, realistic, uh, like animal fur. Uh, that's as far as I've got with him. And he's got a sort of pink hair, do <laughs> I don't know, that uh, looks suitable for Neanderthal. Mm -hmm. I did paint it blonde, and then I thought, well, what I'll do, I'll just... Um, fill this on or put this on and fill in some of the shadows so that it uh, made it a bit redder but because I've been using so much flow improver I think the paint wasn't uh, completely dry and it, uh, it turned this whole hair pink the sort of thing that you uh, you personally might have experienced at your local hairdresser I myself have yet to uh, come across that there's a few more bits still to do on here. I've got to do the base, got to finish that off. Um, I've got to do, he's got some trinkets, which are teeth or, or tusks of one kind or another. I think I might also do a little bit more painting on his face. I really like this uh, bod. He's a very big model. I mean, he doesn't look much bigger than the other ones, but he's just very solid. He weighs a lot more. Whereas with the other ones, I've been able to uh, mostly uh, um, blue tack them onto bases. Uh, I had to super glue this guy on because the uh, blue tack wouldn't hold him. So a big old Neanderthal board. Anyway, hope you like that. It's about a mixture of contrast paints, wet blending, organic materials. I don't know what animal would have this particular fur, but I was thinking sort of. Maybe some kind of hyena, something like that, very large hyena, cave hyena or something. I don't know if uh, they would have come across Neanderthals. Anyway, I think uh, that'll do it for now. Hope you've enjoyed that and see you next time. Oh, one last thing to say. Got a new microphone, one of these clip-on microphones. I hope it gives a bit better sound than the... Um, this phone or the previous phone or the other microphone that I had which was which all seemed to be pretty useless and meant that I spent uh, ages trying to get the sound right on the videos after I'd made them and uh, never really got there never really worked so hopefully it's improved now anyway you can judge for yourselves see you then bye bye